ITS, Pat Ward. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, take it away. Good. Good morning, everyone. We're going to go big today. We're on a mission to reinvent and reboot recertification. So over the last few years, everything's been changed, so why not recertification? We're going to start with talking about a couple of different types of recertification, starting with mandatory recertifications, where somebody has to go to a testing center and take a test, say, every 10 years. The problem with that is that these people are now specialists and they have to take a generic test. And what happens is really they just don't really like the process. They pretty much hate the recertification process. The second type of recertification that we're kind of talking about is where they're using continuing education rather than a test to get recertification. But the problem with that is it doesn't offer the validity that traditional assessment does. The third type of recertification that we're going to talk about is where we have voluntary certification, like an IT certification test, and then recertification is voluntary as well. And the issue there is that the voluntary cert certificates are often one and done. So of course, we've got an answer to that, the future of recertification, which is the ITS continuous learning uh, system. Now, I'm gonna get into a little bit more detail, but basically what we're doing is taking traditional recertification um, and mixing it with learning resources. We're gonna talk about a few key points of it. First, from a convenience standpoint, these are already trusted individuals. They've been to a testing center, they've taken it. So we can give it to them at home in an unproctored environment. Second, it's a continuous model, which means they're gonna take tests on an ongoing longitude, taking say 25 to 30 questions every quarter over a five year period. It's relevant, not only can the programs plug in new content, but the candidates get a chance to design and implement what they want to see in the content each year. It's adaptive. We're looking at what happens to the responses and choosing items based on how they did and what they told us they're struggling with. And it's valid because we can bring in traditional test techniques. But most importantly, we have integrated learning content all through the system. When you take a question right after you get it, you basically get learning content. And if you got the question wrong, you know you're going to get a chance later to see that question again or something like it and raise your score. So people actually start paying attention. Even better than this, it's a proven system. We are actually selling this in the medical community already today. It's already trusted by over 25 medical boards. We've got over 100,000 candidates using it, and we have a 93 satisfaction rating. But even more exciting than this is that we do some surveys, and 86% of the doctors who've used the system have said that the system makes them a better doctor. These are the same doctors that you're going to every single day. How cool is it when you have a program that, where they like the assessment system? That never happens. So what's next for us? Well, we want to actually introduce this product into new verticals and new countries. We are actually only limited to the United States and the medical community right now. If you're interested in more, we're going to have a, uh, something this afternoon at 420. Thank you. Stage and hear someone talk about integrated learning content at ATP. I never would have believed it, so it's great to see. Douglas, are you ready? <laughs> sure. Um, it's a great product, Pat, and uh, I'm familiar with how it's been used by medical certification boards, and it makes a lot of sense for um, you know communities where recertification testing is required. Um, I'm thinking more about you. You said how it applies to continuing education as an attorney. Um, admitted in two states, I have to maintain my continuing legal education. Um, I, I also have to do continuing education for my privacy certification from my APP. And I'm thinking about, gee, um, right now all I have to do is sit in front of a computer and sort of not pay attention for a day. Um, and that's continuing education. Um, I'm not sure I want to learn. And I'm thinking, <laughs> frankly, how do you get this to apply to a continuing education marketplace? How do you get people to take tests who are used to just having to do sort of passive requirements? So our customer is the programs, right? Um, you know, not directly the, the doctors or the lawyers who are taking it. So it's up to the programs. Do they want to do some measurement? Do they care that they did it? It's just a participation award because you clicked into a video good enough. If it is, that's great, right? We're not trying to reinvent that. The question is, what if you want to do something more? You know, what if you want to actually have some validity in the process? If that matters, then we're the right product. Got it. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. That was a terrific uh, 
from a uh, integration model, can you tell me a little bit about the technology behind the uh, integration into the platform? So if we wanted to integrate it into our uh, certification programs for uh, ongoing um, uh, certification or recertification, how would that work from a technology perspective and what's the business model behind that? So a couple questions there. <laughs> she snuck the big one in at the end. Um, so we sell um, both direct to medical boards and through partnerships. So you know that's how we, we get it. That's mostly our business in general. Um, what we're talking about is a portal that's in the cloud, right? A, a web portal where people can log into. Almost all the people that are coming in, all the doctors are actually using like a single sign-on to get into our system already. Not, you know, going through whatever particular you know, location it is. So it, it just depends on the integration, what makes sense for the particular program. If they already have a master registry, which almost every one of them does, um, then we can basically directly link it so it's just coming into the system. Everything's branded to them, customizes, things like that. So it's customized. And, and you know, every board has like their own way of doing things. I mean, every single board does it differently. So it just depends on what they're saying. And the second question? <laughs> Uh, so the business model, like I said, is through the partnerships and direct. So we're still doing some direct, but for instance, internationally, we are definitely going to be doing partnerships because we don't have sort of representatives internationally. We're also not aware and understanding of the market. So we're kind of, you know, we don't know what we're doing from that perspective. So we need, we need from a business model. Um, it already works, but if you think about the size and scope of what we're talking about, I mean, the recertification market's a big market, and we're talking about, you know, a large percentage of it, 90% could switch to this particular thing. Think about that 86% of the doctors that, that actually like the product. And, I, you know, I, wanna, I just wanna make a, a quick short story. I, I went to a dermatologist for the first time last December, and, you know, you do that kind of awkward conversation where they ask you what you do, and, you know, I'm, you know, I, I'm trying to explain you know, to a doctor you wanna talk about tests, and assessments, which mean totally different things to doctors. So, but he was a dermatologist and I knew the dermatologists were on the system. So I said, you know, um, we actually uh, support, you know, your, your board and we, 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 we host a product called CertLink. And he jumped out of his chair and he goes, I love CertLink, you know? <laughs> and you just don't get that kind of response. And it makes you feel good because, you know, we're in this business to do something right and, and help people. Well, I mean, I, I, it's part of my life anyway. And, you know, you don't get that kind of direct validation. So, so there's a lot of ways to go out to business, but mainly we're looking for partnerships and awareness and evangelism. So just being here and talking today is kind of a win for us. Um, so we're kind of excited about it. So Pat, um, question about when each individual are taking the test, do you customize anything to that individual? It's just, if you have worked with the board and let's say it's, dermatologists, it's all say, look the same. Can you get a little bit next level? Yeah, it's actually pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, so at the beginning of each year, what we do is we run uh, all the, uh, the, the candidates' information with their, their choice. But well, we have a program, you know, think of a content, content outline from the program, and they say like the candidate can adjust it, say 10 to 20% here and 30 to 40% here and something like that. And then we run it through a, a mixed integer math kind of system where we're taking lots of constraints and putting them all together to figure out what is the, the best solution based on what is in the pool, what are the enemies of the item in the pool, things like that. So it, it's kind of complicated. Every single candidate gets something custom and it's actually customized on every single instance of the test that they take. And we're looking at you know what they've done before, what they're interested in. After every question, they get a sort of a, does this question, is it useful to your practice? Is this question something you struggled with even if they got it right? Um, and then we're gonna consider all that and we're selecting questions to make sure it's relevant to them. Thanks, Pat. Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> They're just being polite to each other. I've never seen this before. <laughs> well, I didn't wanna talk over anyone this time. Um, so you've been using the platform for quite a while at this point. It's been a number of years, right? No, that's what's interesting. It's relatively new um, for us. We took over the the you know the people who are sort of the champions of this came out of that medical board community. Right. Um, they invented it um, originally. We've taken it to a you know sort of a different level with customization and making it standardized so we can take it past that particular market. Um, so. 
Um, so I guess we've been delivering it for three years now for us, um, but all in that medical community. And I'm curious if any of the boards have looked at, have, have compared, again, the test results from their more formal um, sort of conventional cert recertification exams that they used to deliver um, as compared to the results of these exams to try and see, you know, again, look at validity and see whether there's any greater value about it. And, and there has been actually, and so ITS is a, a technology company, so we provide a platform. So that does happen at the, the, the partnership level. We work um, with um, ABMS is, is one of the clients here, MBO and me. And those guys have done extensive studies at, and also at the board level to sort of see how things are doing. The pass rates are actually comparable. Um, but what's not comparable is the happiness. And what you're talking about is a happiness level at the candidate level that really has never been seen before. And a happiness which, which just makes the boards happy, right? It makes everyone happy from that side. But lots of statistical analysis has been done. Thank you. So to follow up to that, oh sorry. <laughs> so do you have stats for, in terms of the success factor and how your board manages that and what's their uh, criteria. Yeah, so we, we do we do a whole bunch of stats where we provide sort of just information about how this, people are using it, the scores and stuff like that. But then the surveys are then driving it. So actually messaging is a big part of this because we're actually sending messages out not only for like, you know, letting people know what's going to happen, but also, I should just talk in here, but yeah, also uh, surveys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You can take that with you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. For our audience pick, our winner today is Mr. Pat Ward mm -hmm. from ITS.